Colorado lawmakers introducing a bill that could ultimately change how we die in Colorado. Democrats from the House and Senate announcing details of the Oregon-style Death with Dignity Act at the state capitol today. It would allow the terminally ill to choose when they die. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski is live at the state capitol tonight, breaking down this controversial bill. Jen. Eric, here at the Capitol today, supporters told stories of terminally ill loved ones who they say weren't able to die with dignity. On the other hand, religious groups who oppose this legislation say it is facilitating suicide. He had no dignity whatsoever. We had to lift him from his bed, change his diaper. What dignity is there in that? This is how Catherine Sanchez Laughlin likes to remember her father living a happy life. He said, I've led a good life. I'm ready to die. Her dad died at 84 after a year long battle with ALS. It was how he died that changed Sanchez Laughlin's stance on right to die legislation. We watched my father die a horrible death that I would not wish upon my worst enemy and that changed our mind. These three Colorado Democrats introduced a bill giving people like her father the power to choose when they die. Under the act, patients will need sign off from two doctors saying they are terminally ill and within six months of dying. They will also have to be found mentally competent and able to give themselves the fatal dose. Opponents believe it puts others at risk. People with disabilities, seniors, sick people uh, can be coerced. This opens the door to coercion to take your own life. Anita Cameron is nearly blind and has multiple sclerosis. She sits on the board of Not Dead Yet, a national disability organization fighting the bill. But Sanchez Laughlin says people like her father need a say. Some may choose it, some may choose not to, but it is their choice. Now there is some concern that this bill doesn't go far enough since it would only apply to those who are within six months of dying. The bill is set to be heard in committee in the next two weeks. Reporting live at the state capitol tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News.